uh, just getting going here. Let me make certain that we're live and that our audio is working because, of course, we've never had that problem before. Looks like we are going on Twitch TV. If you are just joining us and have followed along, uh, welcome to the show. This is, again, nothing in the way of anything exceptionally fancy. We do not do anything in the way of uh, tap dancing or game playing or chess or cooking or anything else. But uh, this is our look at weather in and around portions of the area. We're from Chattanooga, Tennessee. This is News 12. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik to keep you updated as to what's going on out there. And for tonight, again, let's see. Okay, audio is working, just confirming that. Uh, for those of you who are just tuning in for the first time, this is our online video weather blog, keeping you updated as to what's going on primarily, again, around this area, southeast Tennessee, north portions of Georgia, northeastern Alabama, and extreme western North Carolina. We're down south of Interstate 40, and this is where we are keeping track of what's going on with our weather situation in and around the area. So we'll talk more about that coming up here. Uh, on the forecast, got some changes coming up. We'll give you a detailed version of what's happening with our new winter weather advisories in just a little bit. Thanks to News 12 viewer Clyde Bloom up on Signal Mountain for a couple of pileated woodpeckers. Hope I'm saying that first part right there. I'm not a, 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 not exactly a, a bird scholar, so I think that's the right one. A beautiful shot right there up on Signal Mountain. So thank you, Mr. Bloom, Signal Mountain, for a gorgeous view there. If you've got pictures, let's see them. Go to WDEF.com uh, to drop uh, around our social media pages and email them to pictures at WDEF.com. We'd love to see what you're seeing out there. We did have a slightly cooler day today than yesterday. We did not even officially make our regular normal high temperatures. We were 20 degrees below our normal high temperature, and our high temperature was one degree colder than our normal low temperature. So this is a decently powerful punch of cold air. We did not make the single digits overnight. We came very close but we did not actually make uh, anything into and around that area. Tomorrow, if you have any outdoor plans, it's going to be best earlier rather than later. And high temperatures, assuming we get enough sunshine earlier during the day, will be better than the end part of the day when our next storm system is slated to roll on through. We'll time that out for you coming up here in just a little while. I want to take a look at the interstates, which last night were a complete and total mess. Uh, right now, traffic is moving along. We do not see any backups or slowdowns uh, around I-24 at the Georgia State Line from the TDOT Smartway camera system. Last night, this side of the roadway, the westbound 24 area, just to the west of this particular camera location, is where we had a couple of jackknife trailers and a lot of cleanup with the icy roadways going on. And this travel snarl, went all the way back to Chattanooga and beyond, even past the ridge and all the way over about a 40 to 50 mile scrum of traffic jam last night. But fortunately, that's not going on tonight out there. Bailey's heating and air camera downtown, kind of on the hazy side, but otherwise not bad. Dry and clear across the area. Lee Point, 153 at 64. Uh, not seeing too much of a problem out there. A few areas of haze and pollutants stacking up in the fairly calm atmosphere well back on off to our north and south and west on this particular camera. From the Patriot Concrete camera, I-24 traffic moving along quite nicely at this time uh, into downtown. And likewise, from the Tomahawk Crane and Rigging camera, this area was a snarl as well last night. Not showing that tonight at 2475 in South Central Chattanooga. From the Chattanooga Theater Center on the North Shore from the Speedy's Total Car Care camera, Tennessee River got some ripples on it and looks like some chunks of ice floating downstream and still some ice around Coolidge Park in portions of the uh, grassy areas showing up there. We also have uh, temperatures back into the lower 20s. Winds are calm for right now, so we don't have much of a wind chill to speak of, but we will see some breezier conditions coming our way as we get into around portions of the weekend. Temperatures right before the top of the hour, regionally teens and 20s 
We are going to continue again to see the potential for uh, some very cold air into the weekend. Not seeing any single digits right now. 15 in Athens, 16 Madisonville, Decatur, 15 also in Pikeville. So we're getting some temperatures pretty low and without any clouds to keep the heat of the day in. That's going to drop our temperatures even more. Wind chills, single digits up around Mont Eagle, back in the lower single digits uh, possible for some of the area teens and 20s on the wind chill so far all right here's what we're looking for into the rest of the forecast into tonight we're going to be seeing the potential for this next storm system here swinging our way this one coming down out of the rockies and this is important because these storm systems as they sweep on down this direction we see these systems get kind of <clears throat> excuse me uh pushed upwards into the atmosphere so as they leave the Rockies, they move out into the Plain States and they get a lot more room to maneuver, a lot more room to draw in more and develop more energy. So we do have, again, a decent amount of this next system coming on through. This one will be mainly passing north of us and taking whatever moisture is there with it uh, should not be at this time a major problem. For us, it does seem like this is going to give us uh, the potential of maybe some more precipitation, and that's why uh, the National Weather Service has issued its latest advisory coming on through. What we've got is a winter weather advisory, which are issued for when you have a developing situation. Now, this is not in effect yet. This is in effect tomorrow through Friday morning. This is mainly for the area up around Chattanooga to the west and to the north. That's where we've got the potential for some freezing rain and snow potential farther up from there. Now that again is for a very light potential of freezing rain going on. We do have the potential also of looking over toward Monroe County, also in the News 12 viewing area of snow around four inches or so along with a light glaze on top of that uh, if we get enough moisture from this system. Now, we don't have anything for northern Georgia and northeast Alabama, and this strip between the Tennessee-North Carolina line and from areas around uh, up around Blunt County, Loudoun, Monroe, uh, most of Monroe County not seeing any advisory, and down through Meigs, Bradley, and Polk County, there's no advisory at this time but that could change depending on how much more moisture we get also more advisories all the way back over toward middle tennessee so in our area we could see the potential uh, in the central part of the news 12 viewing area our area here could get a very light amount of freezing rain but remember with freezing rain it only takes hundreds of an inch to cause a lot of slipping and sliding out there so by Friday morning, this is where we could see some potential problems in the central part of the viewing area. By Friday morning, the best possibility of snow will be set up and going on through. Now, how much are we looking at uh, for right now? It doesn't seem to be a lot taking place at this time, but we could see by Friday morning uh, the potential of some precipitation, maybe a tenth of an inch in much of the area higher possibilities north of us toward I-40 and the North Carolina line. That is going to be uh, the worst possibility for it looks like snow. The big possibility for freezing rain, that is a much different story. And that is where we see, again, first of all, mainly areas around the Cumberland Plateau and back to Chattanooga and Hamilton County. That is where we could see the worst potential. Signal Mountain up in that area all the way to I-40 and the Cumberland Plateau, that's where we get the best potential of freezing rain here. And then back over to the east of us, we see more potential of that. North central Georgia into around western North Carolina and extreme eastern areas of Tennessee. We do not see uh, this being a major winter storm. I think if there were a better possibility of anything involving a lot more as in maybe a quarter of an inch of freezing rain and a lot more snow we would more than likely be getting a winter storm warning posted very soon but i haven't seen that and with levels like this that's why the national weather service is issuing 
the possibility of a winter weather advisory instead of a stronger winter storm warning. So this does not appear to be a major winter storm threat. It does have enough potential to give us some more snarls on traffic and I would guess a lot more closings coming our way as we go into the end of the week and toward Friday probably a lot more classes going to be out uh, at this time so that is where we're going to be seeing the worst potential out there high pressure keeping things very much under control for right now and into uh, the next couple of days by early tomorrow morning low temperatures will once again be dropping down into around the teens uh, lower teens even it is going to be a frosty one again tomorrow then by tomorrow afternoon thursday after toward about uh, rush hour somewhere in there that's when the moisture content begins and again that pink area showing the potential of a mixture of precipitation green is rainfall blue is expected snow that continues over the area but once again that puts us in a unique situation as the system comes on through to where we may be just above freezing in the river valley which means we may see sleet maybe some snow mixed in with the rain but right now it looks like mainly rainfall for chattanooga and areas south of that north of there toward i-40 nashville knoxville notice that freezing line gets very close to us and that's where the snow starts kicking on through the drier air wraps around the back side of this system and as we get into early saturday morning most of the precipitation chances go east of us but some of that <coughs> excuse me could wrap its way around the back side of this area of low pressure and we could get some dusting of snow with the temperatures out there into around friday morning maybe some more snow showers but again this does not appear to be the type of winter storm we just went through that had a lot more moisture to it north of chattanooga picking up six to eight inches of snowfall not the case in this particular scenario going around we get into friday afternoon and temperatures will be lucky to push near freezing for the day and that'll be about as good as it gets friday night all that moisture dries out teens again for early saturday morning and then as we go into early saturday afternoon we're talking about a very cold start to the weekend temperatures barely into the mid 20s a few teens back toward middle tennessee and that is going to be about the worst of it for right there uh, into the rest of the weekend we'll talk about the seven day forecast coming up here in just a little bit but as this system progresses and expands and comes our direction by tomorrow evening that is where everything starts up and goes overnight so thursday night we could be looking at the potential for some more problems once again across portions of the area so please keep it tuned to news 12 and we'll let you know a little bit more about what we may be seeing there but right now i don't anticipate this being a ginormous problem some slick spots out there yes some slick roadways uh, some slowdowns into the early weekend hopefully the roads get treated again if they are able to do so because if they are able to do so we will need a good portion of that uh, again on the roadways especially in those higher to lower elevations or vice versa uh, there could be some very slick travel coming up again into the next about 36 hours so keep it tuned to news 12 on there and we'll let you know more about that so we have the potential again of the snow showers or whatever we get from thursday night into friday temperatures cooling off into friday maybe some mid 30s there starting off the weekend with teens in the morning 20s for highs on saturday a little bit above norm a little bit above freezing on sunday and teens early sunday morning but at least we get a break from the precipitation for a little bit a lot of sunshine out there and then some very good news as we go above normal on temperatures crawling out of the deep freeze but it's going to take another very cold weekend to get there and then our next best chance of rainfall coming up as we go from monday into tuesday possibly lingering into around next wednesday but the chances of rain if they stick around that long and it looks like there's a good possibility on the 10-day forecast where we might be getting a decent amount of rain mixed in with some very mild temperatures possibly some 60s as we go toward the end of january so we may see some changes coming up here which may help us out on the numbers by just a little bit because as of right now it looks like in agreement with the climate prediction center some much warmer numbers coming on through 
So some very good news about that. And getting out of that ice box for a little bit will definitely help us out into the next few days. I uh, want to tell everybody again, coming up, if you've got uh, this holiday season, a telescope, a good pair of binoculars for a holiday gift, and you don't know how to use it, Barnard Astronomical Society would like to help you with their new telescope workshop. It's an annual thing. This one to be held this coming Saturday, the 20th, 3 to 6 p.m., outdoor Chattanooga at the Philip Grimes Center, 200 River Street in Chattanooga. If you'd like to know more about the event, tons more at their website, barnardastronomy.org. If you'd like to find out a lot more about what is coming up out there, bring your telescope, your binoculars, whatever you've got in the way of technology. Bring along the instruction manual so they can look that over. But please, if you'd like to get involved in astronomy, there's no better way than having your own scope and being able to look at some of the fantastic marvels out there in the universe. So please uh, consider going to this. Thank you to Barnard Astronomical Society for putting this on. And again, a good opportunity to learn more at Barnard Astronomy. Coming up, we'll bring you more information later on about the star parties coming up at the Clarence T. Jones UTC Observatory. So stay tuned for more on that. Panaagua Auto Mall weather question of the day. The coldest temperature in January happened uh, two years, 1985 and 1986. The prime vote getter was minus 10 that was 52 percent of the vote and that was actually the right question the right answer right there so minus 10 two times 85 and 66 on our panaagua auto mall weather question of the day you can find out our next poll by going to wdef.com slash vote now if you'd like to take a look and see uh, what's going on there we are getting into the prime of uh, severe weather season so please make certain that you uh, go to our website for a video to show you how to program your weather radio, wdef.com slash weather. And cannot overemphasize this enough, especially getting into the next several days and weeks. The National Weather Service in Morristown, which covers part of the News 12 viewing area, including Hamilton County, is holding another Skywarn training event coming up Friday, February 9th. And if you'd like to attend this, it is totally free. The Skywarn meetings are your ability to become the eyes and ears of the National Weather Service out in the community for ground truth to see what is going on. Uh, they could call you when you give them the phone number. They can contact you and say, is this happening where you are? Or if you see stuff going on, you can use your cell phone to call them and say, this is John or Jane Smith from uh, South Broad Avenue in Chattanooga, rotating wall cloud, wind damage, uh, baseball sized hail, whatever. That information you can call back to them and you can let them know what's going on based on your expertise by taking these courses. So if you'd like to take the one, if you're in Chattanooga and Hamilton County, take this course if you're able to, Friday, February 9th, 6 p.m. at CHI Memorial Hospital on DeSales Avenue. Again, register for a seat. It's totally free, but to make certain they have enough space for the event or if they have so many people show up, they have to hold another meeting at another date and time because it's so popular, go ahead and make certain that you get the information in weather.gov slash MRX. That's the three letter code for the National Weather Service in Morristown. There should be other events coming up in the next few days. If there are, we will let you know about that in various other counties. So please keep it tuned to News 12 and we'll let you know more about what is going on there. That should do it for tonight. We've been on for about 20 minutes, so that'll wrap up everything without putting too many people to sleep. Uh, questions, concerns, anything, email me. The address uh, for, is on Twitch TV on the screen, and I apologize, I did not update uh, the information on the date, so that's correct on there. It's January 17th, not the 16th. And if you have any questions, uh, aonic at wdef.com, or you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, X, uh, various other social media pages. You can find me out there somewhere and let me know. We can't do stuff like this unless we get information from you, our viewers. We can't run a TV station and news events unless we hear from you to say, more of this, less of that, focus on this, whatever you've got, let us know what you're thinking, politely, if you, do, if you don't mind. Uh, that would help out a lot, and we would be glad to hear from you on that, so please 
uh, give us a buzz again for me aonic at wdef.com you can find all of us on the contact us website section of our website wdef.com chip chapman will have your forecast bright and early in the morning starting at 5 a.m and again remember winter weather advisories for part of the area could be some sloppy travel coming up again as we go into Thursday night and Friday morning. I'll have details for you again tomorrow evening. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik from the News 12 studios in downtown Chattanooga, Tennessee, USA, North America, planet Earth, Milky Way Galaxy. Thanks for joining us tonight and stay tuned for more with News 12 on air and online. And please, let's be careful out there.